The quadratic formula is a very special, very important formula that we use to solve the x values of a quadratic equation. So, given the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c, where a cannot be zero, you can find the values of x that make the equation true by, by plugging a, b, and c into this formula. So let's say I have this equation, 3x squared minus 7x plus 2, and I want to figure out the values that make the values for x. So I'm solving for x. The first thing you would want to do is find your a, which is the value on the x squared, your b, which is the value on the x. Make sure you include if it's a neg minus that it becomes a negative 7, and your c will be the constant all by itself, so we've got the 2. All right, after you find your a, b, and c, you're going to plug the a, b, and c directly into the formula. So we end up here with x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, so we have negative 7 squared minus 4 times the a value times the c value all over 2 times your a. Once we have all of the values plugged into the quadratic equation, we start to do some simplification on the quadratic equation. So a negative negative 7 is a positive 7. Then we have plus or minus the square root of negative 7 squared would be 49. 4 times 3 times 2 is 4 times 6, so minus 24, all divided by 6. Because 3 times, or 2 times 3 is 6. All right, so we keep simplifying. The hardest part of the quadratic formula is the simplification. So 49 minus 24 is 25 all over 6. So x equals 7 plus or minus 5 over 6, which we can simplify as 7 plus 5. So x equals 7 plus 5 over 6 and 7 minus 5, which is 2 over 6. Then what we get is x equals 2 and 1 third. And that is our final answer. Let's try one more. Okay, let's solve x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals 0. So our a is going to be 1, our b will be negative 4, and the c will be 5. So we have x is going to equal negative, negative 4, which is 4, plus or minus the square root of negative, or sorry, the square root of negative 4 squared, so negative 4 squared would be 16, minus 4 times your a, which is 1, times your c, which is 5, all over 2a, which is 1. So x equals 4 plus or minus 16 here, minus 4 times 5 is 20. So 16 minus 20 is negative 4 divided by 2. So what that means is x is going to equal 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4, which is 2i, all divided by 2. So if we divide 2 into each of those numbers, we get 4 over 2 plus or minus 2i over 2, and the last simplification would be 2 plus or minus i. And that is our final answer. What it means is that x equals 2 plus i, 
and 2 minus i.